Hey, this is Skylar, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I am blind, I am autistic, I have Asperger's Syndrome, and um, I have a chronic heart condition. Well, today I'm here to talk about fun and functions, sensory anemone mitts. Now, I got these in last September, but um, yeah, I'm just now doing a vlog on them. So, I'm going to show you what they look like, and then... I'm going to show you or tell you what I personally use them for. Now the Fun and Function website is for people who are special needs like autism, ADHD, things like that, sensory processing disorders. So um, let me give you a good shot of my hands. This is what this is what they look like. Now, if you notice, they have tentacles on the palms. See? The palms kind of have tentacles on them. I don't know if you can see it really good. But uh, the palms of these gloves, on the palm, they have little tentacles on them. And now what I use them for is, well, I am what you call, well, I am what I call a chill seeker. Yes, I said it. Chill seeker, which is a term that I made up. It means that I am always looking for different ways to receive goosebumps or um, as I like, as you know, another word for goosebumps is horripilation. Yes, that's a real word, and I'll put a link in the description for you doubters. But um, I'm always, always looking for new ways to get horripilation or goosebumps. Now, these um, anemone mitts, they have tentacles on the palms. Now, what I like to do is I have certain uh, spots on my body, like like my midriff, uh, the undersides of my forearms, uh, other places like my calves. Um, I have spots all over my body that when you like lightly touch them, I'll get goosebumps. So what I do, you know, what I use these mittens for is just that I rub them on those um, areas that I was talking to you about and it gives me goosebumps now obviously it requires a gentle uh, light touch so you know don't be don't be all heavy handed and expect it to work because it's not now I you know like I said it relaxes me when like people give me chills there's lots of ways that you can give somebody chills like caressing and stuff like that uh, some people like to have stuff drawn on their backs I personally like having crosses drawn on my back but that's just me um, but with these anemone mitts what I do is I just gently rub them over my little death zones um, the spots of my body that relax me and I get goosebumps from it and it really feels good it's also another way that I self-regulate like if I'm feeling kind of stressed I will rub these uh, anemone mitts on my uh, death zones my common most common place to do it is on my midriff because I like having my midriff touched Especially with a gentle, you know, touch such as like, like these. And I just take, I just kind of rub it along my bare midriff. And I'm not going to show you that, but that's what I do. And it feels really, 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 really good. Now these, these mittens are made out of uh, polyester, uh, according to the website. So they're not rough, 
they're not gonna chafe your skin they're not gonna hurt you in any way shape or form uh, they are very soft in fact and they are made out of like I said polyester another thing that I like to use them for is I don't know if you know this in case you're new to my channel Arizona is one of my favorite words and it's a word that I use it, it's, a, it's a tickling word meaning like instead of saying you know and most people tickle babies they say coochie coochie coo or tickle tickle well those words are so boring and lame it's unreal okay so instead of using that what I say when I tickle people is I say Arizona um, because like I said that's one of my favorite words so with these mitts with these anemone mitts I can <laughs> as weird as it sounds I can Arizona myself I just tickle like my midriff and stuff like that and say Arizona and it like I said it feels really really good because it's a very gentle type of touch now if you are like me I'm also into like deep pressure and those of you who are autistic or working with people that are autistic you should know what deep pressure is you can apply a little bit of a deeper pressure and use it like a brushing technique again those who work with autism you should know what that is and again it will feel good brushing to me is very soothing it, it does kind of <laughs> it kind of feels like I'm being caressed but obviously there's more deep pressure to it but it's still soothing so yeah anyways um, if you have like children or if you are a child you know you could just like rub it you know on like your extremities and it should you know calm you down if you're if you're stressing or you're tripping so yeah sensory anemone mitts by fun and function I'll send you I'll put the link in the description and you can buy them if you want thank you